you've got a snack area with basically faster to the fun, which costs less than faster to the fun. This is how we do it. Ah, 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 this is how we do it. Welcome on board Will at Seafood Thank you. So I've got a sample. Can you see a video of somebody getting a GoPro dropped on their head? Oh, JFK had a bunker on Peanut Island just in case the Cuban Missile Crisis got too bad. It's somewhere right back there. Jimmy's jumping on. back at Terminal C taking Brightline to West Palm Beach to check out Margaritaville. Now this time we're going to take Coach Brightline. Let's see what the differences are. Look how nice. So much nicer than opening day. if you can see anything out here yet. An interstate. Okay. Here we go up the morning of the cruise. I'm gonna catch an Uber over to Margaritaville at sea. And I'll try to show you everything happening there. There's our ship right there. Okay, this is where you pull in to drop off your stuff. There you go. This is faster to the chill, but it doesn't look like it's open yet. You'll come up those elevators. You'll check in right there. Then you will head over here to this area and check out all the things they sell on the ship. Let's go try it out. We were tempted by unlimited soda, but mainly because of the little gator that we think will fit on a mason jar. We're going to see. But we bought one, one of these packages. Basically, you got to drink 11 sodas to make it worthwhile. Over here, they're selling the drink package. Over here, you schedule your dinner seatings. And here, they're just selling stuff. This was our VIP lounge. I highly suggest faster to the chill or anything that gets you the vip status this was really important for the week check out this little snack bar here we had eaten breakfast before we got here because on some cruise ships you might not get on until one or two if something goes wrong and we wanted to have breakfast we did not need that here this was a well-stocked continental breakfast here and look at this view of the ocean i can't think of another cruise line that has a waiting area with a view of the bay. This was really nice. 
If you do not have Faster to the Chill or a Swede or one of these packages, you're sitting here. People are still exiting the ship. There I am. Hope you can see all that. There, that's a better view. People are coming off the ship still. It is 1031. We matchy. We really love the VIP. Let's take a look at what Faster to the Chill gets you and whether or not it's worth it. As you can see, if you were going to buy these things separately, they pretty much add up to the price of what you're going to pay to get in here. And unlike Faster to the Fun, everywhere we went, VIP seemed to be invoked. Special seating at the shows, get out of most lines. It was really nice. Excursions they gave us. All you have to do is, what do your VIP want? As she approached me, this is how we do it. Uh, 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 this is how we do it. And then you do like that. Uh, uh. And the banana was our reserve seating for the show, okay? Here we go, it is 11.33. We are boarding the ship. So far, I'm loving this experience. This certainly competes with Carnival to this point. Thank you. Thank you. for the buffet. Oh, nice. Okay, y'all get on board. It is 1140. Come straight back to the back. Cheeseburger in Paradise. Look at all this outdoor seating. Okay, let's go back in and see what's at the buffet. This is Cheeseburger in Paradise. Here's your ice cream machine. Okay. Here's your coffee, tea, juice. Well stocked. Oh, this is like a pasta bar. You choose your pasta. Look at all those beautiful ingredients. 
Now over here, we've got, oh, hot dogs. Pigs in a blanket. Lots of things coming on. Carving station is carving a turkey. And to go with that turkey, white rice, vegetarian aloo gobi, string beans. Ooh, look at all this. Rice, pork, peas, beef stew, pork tenderloin. Looks delicious, though. And they spread the buffet stations out, which I really like. Lots of seating. Carnival take notes. Spread your buffet stations out. This is an older ship and they're still doing it. Check out the salad bar. The salad bar looks amazing. Let's go up here. And over here, we've also got hamburgers, hot dogs. Oh no, this is a deli station. This is the burger station? Yeah, oh, burger really system, good. sir. Thank you. All the toppings for your burgers. So I've got a sample in here of the first day buffet menu. Let's see if it's any good. I'm really not even hungry, but you know, I gotta eat it for you guys. I gotta test it. Please, on behalf of the master and commander of the vessel, Captain Branca, our hotel director, Mr. Amit. This is Venus, your assistant crew director speaking. We welcome you aboard the beautiful Margaritaville at Sea Paradise. For your welcome aboard lunch, now being served in the port of this session buffet, located on deck number 10 towards the back part of the ship. Main lunch will be served at 3.30 and selected items will be served until 5 o'clock. For your convenience, all luggage will be delivered to your state right, room at approximately 5 o'clock this afternoon. A reminder for any guests who have purchased a beverage package included in your cruise, don't forget to claim your wristband from your free lounge on deck number 8 midship. And if you have not done so and you want to purchase it right now, just see any of our bar staff circulating the area. With regards to your stateroom or your cabins, we will make further announcement once it will become available. Once again, with regards to your stateroom or your cabins, we will make further announcement once it will become available. So for the meantime, do enjoy your lunch. And once you're done, go around the ship and find your favorite spot, enjoy your favorite drinks, and chill in one of our public lounges. Whatever you choose to do, enjoy the rest of your day right here on board the beautiful Margarita Villa at Sea Paradise. Once again, I will be right back for another announcement once your state room or your cabins will become available. Have a wonderful weekend ahead. Fins up. Eighteen-year-old to enter. You got this view. I love it. I wish there were seats right here. Let's see what's around here. Oh, I got a little pool table. Lots of seating back here. We can see off. I guess that's the front of the ship. 
Or have I gotten turned around? Nope, that was the front. A bar, and this is a nightclub in the evening. This is the Hemisphere nightclub. Oh, it was like a pickleball court back there. For all you that are nuts about that lately. Here we are in the everything but sand area. Let's see what we can see. I know they're not open yet, but let's see what's here. Photoshop. Oh. oh, touch there to view your photos. That's pretty awesome. Is it open? No. Over here we have perfumes, cigarettes, liquors. As usual, I will find out how much white Tennessee is. I don't know why you people love that stuff so much. Decorated for Halloween. Oh, that's awesome. They have ice cream. This is the paid ice cream venue. Oh, and it looks amazing. Thank you. Oh, look at that. See this? Yeah. Over here we've got Island Reserve clothing. Nice. I wonder how much their tropical shirts are in there. We will find out. Inch of gold. This is called Live Life Like a Song. Oh, they may steal some money from me here, unfortunately. Unlike a lot of people who sell this, I love Jimmy Buffett. Margarita, Margaritaville Casino. Let's film it while it's not open. Now, someone told me that this was cash. Other ships do not have cash casinos. Well, you can put cash into them. You can put cash into a lot of them, but you usually use your sail and sign card. I think this is quite a large casino for the size of the ship. The table games. Yeah, it's a lot going on here. And that's where your cashier will be. Oh, those are the ones I like right there. I have to put in at least a couple of dollars and see what happens. Keys on the water dueling piano bar. Frank and Lola's Pizza. If you want pizza while you're on the ship, it is a four fee. Uh, someone said it used to be per slice, but it sounds like it's not anymore. It used to be you could get a free single slice, but it looks like not anymore. Deck nine, if you come out by the theater. Nice little area out here. And you can see the check-in building. Set up for pictures tonight, that's pretty cool. We can see the Stars on the Water Theater at this level. We're on deck eight, moving forward. Oh, I love this little area. This ship feels classy to me. I know a lot of people think it's old. It feels classy to me. Oh yes. And GoPro's gonna get weird, because GoPro doesn't like low light. It kinda freaks out. I love this venue. Look at this. Wow. 
I really like this. Check it out, the library, and I guess maybe card playing room. Check out the felt covered tables. It's the little details that I think people are missing on this ship. I've seen a lot of little details I really appreciate on the cruise ship that I don't think a lot of people notice. That's one of them. I appreciate that. Deck 8 Euphoria Bar. Very nice big bar. And look at my man playing on the screen, Jimmy. I wonder if he was ever on this ship. I doubt it. Yep. I love that. Let's check out Finn's. This is what it is for dinner tonight. Oh, why are you doing that, uh, go for it? Let's go drop it. Let's do that. Let's see. What am I going to order? Cuban croquettes. Florida hush puppies. Then probably... I love a blackened salmon, but so few people do it right. Pineapple glazed chicken, everyone's just been screaming that that's awesome. And then I'm tempted to try Cherry's Jubilee, Key Lime Sponge Cake, Chocolate. I'm tempted to buy all desserts. But let's check out Finn's Restaurant. The steakhouse is just right here next to the Finn's restaurant. Tablecloths. Tablecloths, y'all. Wanna see a video of somebody getting a GoPro dropped on their head? No, me either. Finn City Arcade. $2 to play this here shooting game. Hmm. Good old fashioned ski ball. Get you to see. Okay, so let's check it out. Room 6034, an ocean view. I'm liking this so far. Let's see. Let's go straight in and then we'll come back and look. What's here on the counter that they've bought for us? Oh, a room service menu. We'll check that out in detail in a minute. Let's check out the closets. Oh, this is a bed. We don't need that. That's what your bed looks like. Here's your little refrigerator. Drawers. What's up in here? Oh, a nice little safe and my life jackets. Now look at this. This is another another point for Margaritaville. We have robes. We're not having to ask for them. We just have them. Lots of nice hangers. Yo, I'm getting a list here of things that Margaritaville is doing better than Carnival and a lot of other cruise lines. Let's check out the bathroom. Bathroom is old school bathroom, but still decent. So we got your toilet. We've got your sink. Oh, Carnival and a lot of cruise lines don't do this anymore, y'all. Or this. T 
TV's nice and large. Loves the theming. If this command is given, you will be led to the survival craft embarkation. Starting, damas y caballeros, su atención, por favor. Oh, look at this. Se solicita, se solicita la presencia en el escritorio de información, los señores Maite Núñez, repito, Maite Núñez y el señor Alfonso Calisto Hernández. Alfonso Calisto Hernández. Se solicita Look su presencia en el escritorio de información ubicado en la cubierta 5. Gracias por su atención. Room service breakfast. Okay, here's how large the shower is. You turn around. Oh yeah. How about? Is that touching you in any way when you're? No. Like, oh, that's a dirty old. Is it? No. No, I think that's intentional. Never I think mind. That's beach sand. Okay. Oh. Oh, and I'm five foot eight. Five foot eight. Okay, y'all, they let us in our room at one o'clock, 1 p.m. They were delivering us to our room. There's a lot of things here today. I, I'm sounding like a broken record probably if, if I include all this. There's a lot of things here today. They're doing better than a lot of other cruise ships. It's a short cruise. I wish it wasn't so short, but yeah. There's some things they're doing amazingly here. There are tablecloths in the dining room. There are robes in the closet this is turning out to be pretty good first day so far consider subscribing to my channel if you would it helps my channel a lot i'm trying to grow it and it doesn't cost you anything there's no requirements for subscribing just click the button if you don't like my videos later unsubscribe but if you i'd really appreciate it if you'd subscribe thank you okay everybody you've got two usb plugs there on over on that side of the bed but don't forget if you're staying in a margaritaville room you have a usb plug here on the side of your phone so there are three usb plugs in this room a power supply plug if like me you brought a european outlet adapter and one plug down here if nothing in your room works there's a main power switch this will kill everything including the toilet the lights I must amend my earlier statement. There are four USB plugs and one USB type C in this cabin. There are two over by the bed, right over there, one in the phone, one here in this 220 plug that will work just fine for your phone, it's down to 3100 milliamps, and a USB C. Very nice. This is the bed down. Okay, jump in and show people how it fits. 5'8", yeah. that's how large it is. Very nice. And the pillows for that bed are in the closet. And it goes back very easily. My wife had no problem putting it back all by herself and then close the door. My luggage delivered at 2 p.m. Do I have to say it? Nah. Want to do some laundry on board? So much it costs. Don't know why anybody would want to do laundry on a two day cruise, but maybe you showed up with laundry or maybe you're doing backs to back. The rear pool. Oh, look at this. What a nice little area. Now, is this adults only?
230. Got your short scourge on this. Information passengers. Oh, that's what all these people are waiting for. It's not the deck I came on. The chat that yet. This is lovely. I love this so much. at least one margarita on this cruise. Hope they have frozen margaritas. I want a frozen margarita. As a repeat guest to help us, would your corporation are participating in this mandatory safety briefing? By international <laughs> If my information is correct, the JFK bunker is right back there. So if you're not familiar with the JFK bunker, look it up. It is pretty cool. JFK had a bunker on Peanut Island just in case the Cuban Missile Crisis got too bad. It's somewhere right back there. I have been told. We have started on the bread. The restaurant is starting to fill up. And I showed you the menu earlier. I'll drop it here again. And tonight, there are special desserts for Halloween, and I ordered Hocus Pocus eyeball brownies, Cuban croquettes, and Florida hush puppies. Okay, I've been on a six month diet, so I don't eat fried food very often. But this is amazing. These are the Cuban croquettes. Jimmy's Jambalaya. That looks wonderful. That was amazing. Just slightly spicy. I could stand for a lot more spice, but it was good. It was flavored very well. Dining room in full swing. We're waiting for dessert. This is a Hocus Pocus brownie, and this is the Kibam sponge cake. The boat is moving, y'all, and I love it. Oh uh -huh. 